All right, I'm gonna start this video by opening this package. DJ is not in this video because today marks his and Kat's two year anniversary and they are out on the town. So everybody drop a, drop a comment and a congratulations to DJ and Kat for being together for two years. That's dope. Um, this package is from Juan Grimaldo of Dirty Mob. A good friend of ours, always makes dope shit and they have a store online so we'll have that link in the description. Let's see if there's a note in here before we look at anything in here. There is no note so I suppose we will just show you what they got going on. Pumpkin shirt. Very, very Halloween-y. This one. Dirty. Then we got one more. This one's fucking dope. All white, old school Nismo tee. So thank you again to Juan. That package is dope. Always excited to see things coming from you. Also, we're shooting on this new camera. We used it in the last video if we did upload that video. Not sure if we ended up doing that or not. But we're looking for a new lens for this thing. It has a flip out screen so I can like hold it and see what I'm doing. We're gonna have to deal with this lens for now. But today I am going to be working on the skyline. It's super dirty right now because I just took it over the pass to um, Kelowna, BC, and now there's salt and dirt and shit everywhere. We're gonna pull off everything, clean off everything, maybe pull out some of the interior, clean some of that. So I'm gonna rinse like all the sand and grime off the car and then after that maybe I'll take it to a self-serve wash so I can actually wash the car. First step is to take the body kit and uh, side skirts and stuff off, so let's go do that. So as you can tell, it's pretty fucking dirty. I drove it through three passes on the way to get to Kelowna, and uh, they were not forgiving. But in Kelowna, I got this. But yeah, time to get the entire body kit off of this bad boy. Honestly, Skylines look pretty good without the front bumper. I know a lot of people gave me shit for running no front bumper on my 240, but... Especially you, Julio, if you're watching. All right, now I'm gonna pull off the, uh, the side skirts and see what's under there. Just one screw on this side. Maybe a zip tie somewhere. A couple screws on the rocker. Okay, got the side skirt off. Time to move to the rear bumper, which is the dirtiest part of the car. gonna have to be for another video I guess only two of them showed up I think the the other two are supposed to show up tomorrow but this is a set of wheels for the skyline um, I'm probably gonna be running 16 inch Watanabe's I've kind of decided on that but these are gonna be what I use when I drift so I'm gonna get these wrapped in some probably like 225 Ironmans and then uh, throw them on the car when I have tires but I'll show you guys these wheels in the next video but they look good I have to try to get this rear bumper off I don't, I have no idea why it's not coming off. It's probably super simple. All right, well I've been trying that for a while now. Um, I'm gonna move on to the side skirt over here. Can't figure it out, I'm gonna wait for Jonas to text me. Now, I guess I'll start washing this stuff off while I wait for Jonas to text me back about the rear bumper because I have no idea how to get that fucking thing off. I'm just gonna whip out the hose and give these a nice rinse because there's salt and sand and shit everywhere. Front bumper and side skirts are rinsed. Now we just have to do the rear bumper. Okay, I just got word that there are two 10 millimeter bolts holding it on from the inside of the trunk. So I've been like ripping and tearing at it with, wow, there's two bolts holding it on. Wow, uh, look at that. Comes right off. I'm not cleaning it right now, just rinsing it. Later I'll take it to the 
car wash and actually scrub it. I'm gonna pull out of the driveway real quick and show you guys what it looks like without the kit on it. But before I do that, I wanted to address a question a lot of people were asking me. Everyone is wondering, one, where is the Corolla? Two, is the Skyline gonna be the drift car? Or am I gonna turn it into like a missile car like I had my 240? The plan for the 240 was never for it to be a missile car. It just kind of became a missile car uh, because I've crashed it too many times. Um, the 8.6, is at my house, my other house in Black Diamond. I have this car up here now because I just got it and I want to drive it and I've been dailying it, but the Corolla is still in my possession. It's my car. Deciding whether I want to make the Corolla the drift car or the R32 the drift car, I'm gonna drift both no matter what. Uh, last month, I think it was, we took the Corolla out to a drift event and that was so much fun and it made, got me thinking like, what if I sold my truck, put a beams in my Corolla, put a cage in my Corolla, made it look how I wanted it, and just drove the shit out of that car. Daily the R32, kept it nice, and uh, just do some little things. I'm gonna be drifting both cars. That's the that's the short answer, answer, the simple answer. But for now, I'm just dailying R32, Corolla's back home, and uh, I'll probably be taking the R32 to, to a couple of drift events soon, just so I can really start to get a feel for it. I haven't really done any anything on the street or anything. I don't plan on doing anything on the street with it. Uh, with that being said, I'm gonna back it out. It's not gonna become a missile car, so get that out of your head. I'm gonna try not to let it become a missile car anyway. I mean, that was the plan with the 240 and you guys saw how that turned out, but what happens happens, that's drifting. Um, you, can't, you can't expect anything to go a certain way. That is the nature of life. Okay, now I'm going to put the kit back on. Actually, I just had an idea. I should probably wash the car without the kit on it because there's all that sand and shit under where the kit goes. So I might drive it to the to the self-wash place real quick and just wash it like this and then come back, put my kit on and then go wash it again. And the battery on the camera is dying, so this is a perfect time for me to put it on the charger. And go do that. This is now the next day and I just finished washing the car. Looks good. Really excited to get those new wheels on there that I was showing you guys a little sneak peek of in, in the previous part of this video. But yeah, that'll do it for this video. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you enjoy some Skyline content because much more of that is to come. I think today we might be working on DJ Civic, which is funnily enough, almost the same color as this car. Kind of. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you to all of our patrons and the support and everyone who buys our merch and everything and helps us survive and keep doing what we're doing. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. And thanks again. Call me Bill Gate, I'm the motherfucking band man Ice cream paint on my Louis V soda can I just no scope, yo bitch, check the bandy can Ten racks in my hands, call me Edward Van Hans I was in a band man, we were called the band band Meet me at the Denny's cause I'm cooking up a band slam Yeah Pussy money, money, weed. Yada, 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 got a wad of paper all green. Henny, 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 roly polies for my team. Zanny, Molly, Percocet, and Promethazine. Got a lot of Lamborghinis in my level up count. How many do you got? Bitch, you know I can't count. I just dropped a rack on a couple new rack mounts so I could put some racks on my racks. Watch me ball out. Honey nose kid with the suit of fed flow. Talk a lot of shit, but it's all love though. Luca X kicked the beat, yeah, he said that shit to one bow. First gray sponge pop, now we Going dumbo, blah blah blah, pussy money, money, weed. Yada yada yada, got a wad of paper all green. Henny, 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 rolling police for my team. Zanny, Molly, Percocet, and Promethazine. Blah blah blah, pussy money, money.
money we 